What's going on guys? It's New York Prepper here. And in this video, I'm gonna do some patterning of what I believe to be a very good SHTF shotgun uh, load. It's, uh, it's buckshot. It's the uh, Federal um, Flight Control. This is the Federal, let's see, it's uh, two and three quarter inch, uh, nine pellets, double lot buck. It's copper plated and it has a flight control wad. All right, the flight control wad is like a special wad. And what it does is it holds the pellets together at a longer distance. So it's supposed to have tighter patterns, basically. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pattern it today and see uh, how tight the patterns are and figure out, you know, how good it patterns. Um, so I'll just pull out one of the shells so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, it's uh, just a regular two and three quarter double lot buck it's um nine pellets like i said nine pellets uh copper plated and uh has the flight control wad all right so the flight control wad is really what helps this thing uh you know have tight very tight patterns at long distances so this might be something you want to consider for um shtf or home defense uh, especially if you're planning on using your shotgun at longer distances all right this will have tight patterns nice tight patterns um, I heard even out to like 50 yards, it has a pretty decent pattern with a, a choke on it. Um, so here it says patented flight control wad provides controlled release of shot for tight for the tightest patterns and most pellets on target. Copper plated buffered shot for dense, tight and uniform patterns. All right. So I already shot these and they have very low recoil. All right. This is what the box looks like. OK, very low recoil. Uh, this is the flight control wad. You can see that's what it looks like. It's a special wad that holds the pellets together. Uh, the recoil is very manageable, but it's also copper plated, so it may have a little bit better pen penetration than regular lead buckshot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot at some plywood at a couple of different distances. I'm going to start out at 5 yards, then I'm going to go to 10, then 20, then 30, and then 40 yards and see what happens all right we'll see how tight the patterns are so i got the camera set up down there so you guys can see everything and um stand by and we'll we'll uh we'll pattern this nice uh load here and see what happens all right guys so i forgot to mention that uh the shotgun that we're going to be shooting these flight control shells out of is my remington 870 pump action uh, 12 gauge. All right. This is a Remington 870 tactical that I customized. I customized a lot of stuff with this. Uh, it has a 18 and a half inch barrel. It's got a smooth bore. There's no uh, choke in there. You can see there's no, I can stick my finger in there. There's no choke. All right. It's just a cylinder bore. It's a straight pipe. That's all it is. All right. I like that for home defense. It's nice and simple. You don't want to have to mess with chokes, you know, um, especially for shtf or home defense you know you want something simple so you can switch from slugs to buckshot you know if you have a choke on there uh you're not going to be able to just quickly throw some slugs in all right you're gonna have to take the choke out and then put the slug in all right so uh so that's why the cylinder bore in my opinion is a better choice for a home defense or shtf shotgun because you can throw slugs you can throw buckshot bird shot you know whatever you don't have to take the choke out you don't have to mess with the choke all right it's a much more reliable and simple design all right so we're going to see how the the flight control how the flight control uh patterns with this uh 18 and a half inch cylinder bore barrel all right so stand by guys we'll see what happens all right guys so now we're going to take a shot at five yards federal flight control double odd buck copper plated Two and three quarter inch buffered. All right, let's see what happens. All right, looks like I knocked over the board.
All right, guys, so now we're gonna go to 10 yards. Let's see what happens at 10 yards. Wow, very tight pattern, very tight. All right, now we're gonna go to tw uh, 20 yards. See what happens at 20 yards, so stand by. All right guys, so 10 and five and 10 yards were very tight. The pattern didn't open up at all. All right, I'll show you guys when it's when I'm done shooting. So I'm gonna go to 20 yards now. Let's see if it opens up at 20 yards. All right, so stand by. All right, guys, the pattern at uh, 20 yards was uh, still very tight. It was about four or five inches in diameter. So we're out to 30 yards now, and let's see what happens at 30 yards. All right, stand by. All right guys, I'm back at the compound now and I got the sheet of plywood here and we're gonna measure some of the patterns and see how well the flight control patterns. So um, I actually didn't take a shot at 40 yards because I ran out of room on my plywood, but uh, based on what happened at 30 yards, I could pretty much guess that 40 yards is gonna be pretty spread out. Um, all right, so let's just go one by one here. Uh, five yards, all right, it just blew right through the wad and the shot just blew right through the uh, plywood here at five yards. 10 yards, the wad did not go through the plywood. You could see that it uh, bounced off the plywood here and uh, the shot went through very tight patterning there. That's probably uh, one and a half, one, one and a quarter inch uh, pattern there okay and that's at 10 yards guys so that's extremely tight grouping there tight patterning all right let's just measure that again you know we're looking at uh, about an inch and a quarter I'm sorry inch and a quarter patterning at 10 yards all right so 
up to 10 yards, you know, you're going to have to pretty much aim the shotgun. You know, you're not going to be able to really point it like a lot of standard buckshot at close distances. You can just point the shotgun. Um, you're going to have to actually have some, some shot placement when you're at ultra close range with the flight control. All right. Uh, so that's one of the drawbacks to the flight control is that Although you can shoot out to 40 yards, even 50 yards with a choke, um, the problem is that you're giving up some of the spread at close range, you know, so that kind of defeats the purpose of a shotgun in many ways, you know, because people get shotguns to have a close range stopper uh, that you don't really have to aim with that much. But with the flight control, you're getting, you know, another 10 to, to 30 yards better uh, distance on your buckshot but you're giving up that distance at close range you know so you know you're gonna have to have good shot placement if you're inside of 10 yards and this is with a cylinder bore uh, cylinder bore shotgun all right no choke um, if you had a choke it would probably be even tighter uh, than this um, so then out to 20 yards the, the pattern at 20 yards look really good um, you know, you're looking at, uh, you know, roughly a five inch, five, four to five inch pattern here. Okay. You know, probably, let's see, the furthest spread is going to be around four and a half. You know, so roughly about a four to four and a half inch pattern at 20 yards with a cylinder bore. Um, that's really tight. Okay. That's very tight. Um, you know, so even inside of, even at 20 yards, you're gonna have a you're gonna have to have a decent amount of shot placement. You're not just gonna be able to throw up your shotgun and take a blind shot. Um, the, you know that's the only downfall with the flight control is that at close distances you're gonna have to have better shot placement, and also it's gonna be harder to pull off uh, hip shots. You know if you if you want to use your shotgun for emergency close range hip shooting which is what a lot of shotguns are designed for and that's one of the reasons why they were made is that you can take a shotgun and shoot it from the hip at close distances and you don't really have to aim and you're going to hit your target all right but um the flight control is going to make that difficult because the patterning is so tight you know you're not guaranteed to make a hit on your target all right so that's the that's the only downside I would say with the flight control is you know forget about hip shooting especially at close range you know hip shooting is going to be very difficult or much more difficult than standard buckshot all right because you're you're going to have a tight spread out to 20 yards and this is with no choke this is just a cylinder bore you know you have a four and a half inch pattern at uh, 20 yards you know that's very tight so shot placement is going to be important okay shot placement um but again for a lot of people you know being able to shoot from the hip doesn't really matter that much um you know i i would say it's one of the big benefits of a shotgun is being able to shoot from the hip that's one of the main reasons why people buy them and it's one of the reasons why i bought mine is so i could shoot from the hip in an emergency situation if somebody's charging me um, and I don't have a chance to bring my my stock up to the shoulder. I can just blast from the hip um, All right, so moving on from 20 yards four and a half inch spread roughly four to four and a half We're gonna go to 30 yards now And I didn't take a shot. I took a shot at 40 yards, but it went off the plywood and The spread started opening up at 30 yards anyway So I figured it wouldn't make sense to go to 40 because at 40 it would probably be a lot more spread out um, so this was my point of aim. So we have, uh, I'll count all the pellets here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So all the pellets were in this blue area here. And, uh, this was my point of aim. Okay. So I was aiming right around this knot. Okay. So, um, you know, to most of the pellets, all right, five pellets were inside of my point of aim, and, here, and they were grouped around four to five inches, all right, and then some of the pellets started to scatter outside of my immediate point of aim. 
So that's still very good news, you know, very good at 30 yards. You know, if I was aiming for, you know, uh, you know, the heart lung area or, you know, someone's face or something like that, um, you know, this would have been a, a kill shot right here. This would have stopped the, stopped the bad guy or stopped a, an animal, okay, a charging animal or a Martian, a charging Martian, um, all right, so that's pretty good. It started to spread out here, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure the furthest spread. So let me just uh, get my tape measure out. All right, guys, so the furthest spread was 16 inches from this pellet out here all the way to out here. All right, that was 16 inches, um, you know, and then... You know, so, you know, it started to open up a little bit, but still most of the pellets made it inside the point of aim, which is, which is very good. All right. And then I took a shot at 40 yards and the pellets really started to open up here. Um, here's four pellets right here. Uh, you can see that they opened up and I was aiming in this general area and looks like a lot of the pellets missed and I ran out of time, so I couldn't finish testing, but you know, based on what, you know, 30 yards looks like, we can assume that 40 yards is going to be, you know, probably around, I would say, a one foot to one and a half foot pattern, okay? Um, so I think even at 40 yards, you'll still be able to hit your target. You're not going to have as much precision, but you'll still let something know that, that you're there, you know? They're still going to feel the pellets, even if you're not exactly on target, and, uh, you know, but this is up to 30 yards. This is very encouraging news. All right, so as you can see, 5 yards, 10 yards, 20 yards, and 30 yards. You know, very good shotgun. Um, and I have to get out there and, and maybe do another test at 40 yards. But another thing I wanted to show you was the penetration. All of the pellets went through the plywood. Um, so... You know, all all of them, uh, this was fi uh, 5 yards, 10 yards, this was the 20 yards, and then here's the 30 yards here. All the pellets penetrated, even at the longer distance. Uh, one thing that's interesting about the flight control is I, I actually did a uh, penetration test, and I'm going to be uploading that soon, but... The Federal Flight Control actually has really good penetration for buckshot. It penetrated through more plywood than standard buckshot, all right? And I think it's because the, the flight control wad, it retains, it helps the pellets to retain velocity. Uh, the shot, it helps the shot retain velocity better because it doesn't spread out as quickly. So the penetration on the buckshot, you know, I, I was able to penetrate through five sheets of plywood with uh, the flight control, the same load that you see here, the same one that I, I patterned here, versus standard buckshot, I was penetrating through three or four sheets of plywood. So the flight control had some good penetration. So even, you know, even though it, it, it's designed for long distances, I have no question in my mind as to whether this could actually do lethal damage at 40 yards, 50 yards, 30 yards, 20 yards. I have no question in my mind that this would actually easily penetrate human t tissue and animal tissue. Um, I think it would still be very lethal at, at that distance, you know, versus standard buckshot at longer distances. It may not be as lethal. The penetration is going to be much less but, you know, the flight control, it really, uh, the penetration is really impressive. And, and look for that video. I'm going to be uploading that video sometime in the next day or two uh, where I shot a bunch of buckshot at some plywood to see how many sheets of plywood it would go through. So stay tuned to my channel for that. And you'll see, you know, in better detail how many sheets of plywood this flight control penetrated through and uh, I'll try to recover some pellets for you guys and show you guys what the pellets look like but so far it's pretty impressive um, again you're giving up you know you're gonna gain distance you know but like for example the pattern here at 30 yards with the flight control is probably the same pattern that you would get at 15 or 20 yards or even 10 yards with some shotguns, you know. 
So you're gaining, you know, at least 10 to 20 yards in distance in your pattern with the flight control over standard buckshot, you know, so that's, that's good, you know, but again, what are you buying the shotgun for, you know, are you buying it for close range or are you buying it for, you know, multiple distances, you know, um, that's up to you to decide, but if I was using my shotgun for close quarters environments, 25 yards or less, I would probably stick to a standard buckshot, uh, either triple lot or double lot, and uh, either three inch or two and three quarter, just a standard buckshot, no flight control, because again, at close distances, up to 20 yards, your pattern is going to be super tight, so your aiming is going to have to be very precise, you know, so it kind of defeats the big advantage of having buckshot, you know. Um, but if you want something that's a little more versatile and, you know, let's say you're buying a weapon for multiple multi-purpose or, uh, you expect to have engagements at longer distances, you know, then, then, uh, the flight control watt is good for you. Now the flight control was also designed for law enforcement. And the reason why is because, uh, for law enforcement, it's good because they can, uh, the patterning is tighter, so there's less of a chance that you may have a stray pellet like one of these, you know, fly outside of the target and hit a civilian, you know. So, you know, inside of 20 yards, this flight control wad, the, the patterning is going to stay on target. It's You're not going to have stray pellets flying around, you know, and, and you definitely don't want that if you're law enforcement. So, um, all right, guys, so... I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a great load for, for SHTF uh, as long as you anticipate using it at longer distances and you understand the fact that at close range you're going to have to do some kind of aiming. You're not just going to be able to uh, hip shoot or, you know, uh, have sloppier aiming, you know. So that's the trade-off with this load, all right. There's always a trade-off with everything, you know. If we're talking about firearms, there's always a trade-off. So you have a shot that goes further, but the pattern is, is too tight at close distances, you know. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell notification if you want to be notified of any future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.